Rangers. Start your... Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. A little ill-prepared there. How are you guys doing today? Right off the bat, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch. Check out my Facebook page, etc., etc. Thanks again for joining. Now that I got all the plugs in, we can get into the video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Scott Wimmer's 2005 uh, do, 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 Daytona flip. Why did I have a brain fart there? Scott Wimmer's 2005 flip in the Daytona 500. Thank you to Braden Gerg for the suggestion. Why are we not coming through on Twitch? I do not know. But anyway, we will press onwards. All right, let's get started. We got his 2005 number 22 Caterpillar. Is that a Dodge or a Pontiac? Dodge. Cause that's right, they got rid of the Pontiac by then. And let's go into Daytona. I'm gonna, just going to be using the default Daytona that comes with the game. Circa 2003-ish. About 35, 34 cars, it sounds about good. Turn this up a little bit. I turned the grip up to, I believe, about 1.9 or 1.8. We'll see if we have to adjust that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because the whole point of... Well, that's right, I need to show you guys the crash I'm going to be trying to do in the first place. Well, first let me figure out why... Is this stream coming through for you guys? I see two people commenting on uh, Twitch, but it's not coming through yet, even though it's recording. Sorry, people watching this. Give me one second trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe I'll try refreshing on here. Why is it not coming through? Oh, you guys can see it. There we go. I had to refresh my Twitch page, and now it came through. Alright, sorry for that technical delay. We are back on track. But I am going to show you the crash I'm going to be attempting to recreate. Scott Wimmer's flip in the 2005 Daytona 500. And let's take a look. So there's a wreck that starts going into turn four, and he spins backwards and coming down when he turns back sideways on the apron, just the perfect angle starts tumbling his car. So I needed to turn the grip up, which I did. I turned it up to about 1.8, hoping to get spun, and then when I come backwards and start flipping the other way. I'm new to Twitch, but not on YouTube. It should be live. Oops. I'll check again after this. Yeah, so the banking and the apron and the way his car is turning backwards is just the perfect recipe to start tumbling his car. So I need to try to replicate that as closely as possible. Are we coming through on Twitch? Yeah, we are. Alright, sorry guys, yeah, just I was having some issues making sure it was coming through at first. Alright, actually, one more thing. Do you guys want to see me plug my stream right now just on my YouTube page? You guys can watch me do this. Hold on one second. Switching over. Let's go here to my most recently posted video, my IndyCars at Chicagoland. Check that out if you haven't already. It turned into a wreck fest. We're going to post streaming. Why is that bold? Oh. 
the hell is going on? Sorry, guys. There we go. Then, doot, doot. Live on Twitch now. And then, bada boom. Bada boom, that way they have a link. Alright, sorry. I got that plug in. And hopefully we'll have a bigger audience on YouTube. Or from YouTube. That's what I meant to say. Alright, chat is unfrozen. And back to the game. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Now everything is set up. I'm gonna turn realistic weather off for this one just because nothing aerodynamic needs to happen here, and I just want it to remain sunny. Medium sized pack. 90, dif decent difficulty. 88. We'll turn it to 88. Alright, let's get in. Sam. The Aesir Productions. NASCAR Love. Do, 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 do. Did I miss anyone? John. Thank you one and all for joining. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna be in like the... I didn't see too many wide shots. So I didn't know exactly where he was in the pack and who was all around him. Once again, I'm not too concerned about where all the AI cars are as long as Scott Wimmer's flip is good. Remind me, at the end of this stream, I will show you guys quickly what sound pack I'm using. Because I remembered. Because I was able to switch it after I switched it to the indie cars this morning. I needed to switch it back from the indie sounds. So I will show you guys what my sound pack I'm using right now is at the end of the stream. Holy crap, it's hard to turn the wheel when you have the grip up at 1.8. So I'm going to try to cause a small wreck first and then kind of turn down into a car and hopefully spin around the way Scott Wimmer did in real life. And hopefully hit the banking backwards, kind of with my car turning. Hopefully that weight shift with the grip turned up turns me over. No spamming the chat. Alright, so who, I guess, would be Elliot Sadler. Yeah, I guess I'll spin him out. Right, spin right here. Oh, damn it. I saw someone else flip. It's not me. Another flip. Clear. I needed to get down onto the banking a little bit more. Maybe I needed to turn the grip up, too. To 1.9 or 2. Elliot Sadler in the 19 went over real quick. Boom. Alright, next. I'll try a few more times and then see if I need to adjust the grip accordingly. Front third of the pack. Start a wreck. And then hopefully get the same spin as he did. Hope, hope for the best. Still coming through. Still coming through on Twitch? We are. Try Just try refreshing. I seem to be uh, doing fine on my computer. 
but my preview seems to be screwing up every so often, so. Try refreshing, that's what I'm trying to do right now. One second. There we go. And just shift while driving one handed and refresh my computer. It did turn the restrictor plates off so we could get up to full speed and then some by the time we're around the lap, the end of lap one in turn four, but I think that might be a little bit of a mistake. God damn it. I think the grip's up a little too high. Number 41 is tumbling. Got one stopped up high. There we go. The preview is working all right now. All right. This time will be a lot better. Start your engines. Can actually focus. Starting to lag a bit, a little bit. No, it's not your computer. I'm starting to drop some frames. I have no idea if it's our internet or our router or something. I've tried to investigate where the drop frames are coming from. As you guys know, all my settings are... Yep, now everyone else is having issues. Well, that's why I have my YouTube. So if you guys miss anything due to the internet issues or drop frame issues right now, you can go check out the full, the full video on YouTube. That will have absolutely no interruptions. Because right now it's recording directly to my computer and then I take that video file and upload it. So even if there's issues on Twitch with the connection or the frames, there isn't when I upload it. Z Johnson, how's it going? Right, so I need to spin someone and then get spun. Get spun, that sounds like a catchphrase. We're going too fast, I think I might need to turn the restrictor plates off. Or back on, I mean. Alright, so just for shits and giggles, let's try spinning. That's not what I meant. A bunch of other cars got in the way. Alright, I think I might have to make a few adjustments. I don't know if I'm excited for the NASCAR season or not. I'm always excited for new NASCAR, but my god, just the rules. I still need to read more in depth into the whole segment, segmented races thing, but that just sounds so stupid. Holy hell, the 41 took a big shot there. Alright, so I'm going to exit out of the game so I can adjust the settings. Actually, I'll show you guys right now what the sounds I'm using are. Sound. Alright, so here's my backup folder with all my sounds, and here's all my mods and stuff, and backup files. Here's all my mods and crap. How many do I have? 78. 80, including my drag racing one, then the GTP. Tracks, I have them all sorted out by type. But, uh, where? Yeah, sounds. The sound pack, all these files right here, the sounds I'm using, and you can get all these from, if you just type in NR2003 sounds in Google, I believe a, f 
a session or a forum from sim racing design will pop up and some guy put together every sound basically ever made for the game it was amazing I don't know his name off the top of my head go check it out though but uh the sounds I'm using right here I start I did all the super speedway sounds I highlighted and dragged actually I'll just do it right now since I did this place yes and then that's like all the as you can see there's 45 files here so there's a lot more it's a lot more extensive with the sound effects and the crash sounds and everything else and then down here is what I use for the engine sounds the Zechin Zechin Zechan real life engine sound pack then I take all these the 21 files and then copy and paste it into here and then overlap the engine sounds from the other pack and that is the sound pack I'm using at the moment kind of a little combination of two alright so going to tracks I'm using regular Daytona going to the INI file chassis type do I keep this at five? No, I gotta. I gotta turn it back to four. Then try. We'll turn the grip up to like two point one for each. See if that makes a difference. So I need to get spun pretty quickly and then tip over backwards. And hopefully, turning the grip up a little bit will help with the tipping. Do I like IndyCar or NASCAR better? I don't know. It's a tough choice. I would say NASCAR, but the rules are getting worse and worse every year. Admittedly, I don't follow uh, IndyCar nearly as much as I do NASCAR, so I wouldn't be able to tell. By the way, please avoid highlighting comments in the future. It makes the chat on the screen all cluttered and blocks the blocks the view. I don't mind it if you do it once or twice, but don't be excessive. And yes, I know you weren't, you, that you just did it once. I'm just giving a heads up. All right, let's get back into the game. Where am I looking for? OBS, here we go. All right, now let's load the game back up. Let's see if that made a difference. Alright, race. Drivers, start your engines. Yeah, these are the engine sounds I've been using. <clears throat> the super speedway track sounds and sound effects. Sound effects. And that C Chan, Zechin. Whatever real life car sounds version 4.0 for all the engine sounds. Because I know I've gotten some questions about what sound pack I use primarily ever since I switched over the sounds. And this is, this is basically the sounds I use. Alright, so let's see if that made a difference. Does anyone know if it's a difference between if the material on the track itself and then the apron is the same or if one is asphalt and the other is concrete because if so because I see it's two different colors down there I didn't know if the apron is a separate material or not because if so I could have the track surface up here be normal grip but then the apron be heightened grip so when I get onto it backwards that's when I tip alright so I got 
guess I'll take out Bobby Labonte. Sorry, Bobby. Alright, so I kind of got the tip I needed at the end. Nothing else for the wreck was right. Man, hard wreck for that one car, the 91. Alright, so the tip, the grip, the tip grip. Yes, guys, I know I'm dropping some frames right now. There's nothing I can do about it. Other than watch it on YouTube afterwards where it'll be uninterrupted. Greg Biffle was one of the cars wrecking. In that wreck as well. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Not mean to do that. But we'll try this anyway. We'll try a little test run here with this dude. God damn you. You fucking panic deceleration. Alright, so we'll try that again. Drivers, I gotta go get some juice. I'll be right back. Successful rehydration. heightened grip I can't stay off the apron somehow survived four wide I'm try, so I'll try to take out Biffle oh damn it See, that's a uh, one downside to turning the grip up. You kind of your car flies around weird when you're spinning. My wheel is a Logitech G920 for the PC and Xbox One. 
I got it from Amazon and it was basically $300 on the dot shipped. And it works amazingly for this game. Granted, I don't have much experience with any other wheels to compare it to, but this being my only experience with a force feedback wheel for this game, I love it. There's one downside to it that I've noticed where I've read in reviews as well, which is called a dead spot or a dead zone, I don't know exactly, but it's kind of if you hold the wheel right in the, or if you hold it right in the center and let go of it, it'll start like shaking by itself, so you kind of just have to hold it a little bit tight when you have the wheel straight, but aside from that, it's pretty damn good. So I need to spin Biffle, but not spin myself out so fast where I go flying around like a helicopter like I did that last time. Well, not necessarily spin out Biffle, but just someone. I need to look at that replay again and see who was spinning first. I want to say it was Biffle. Well, I guess I can catch back up to him. God damn it. I think it's spun the right way. We'll get a flip one of these times. I need to somehow get hooked. I, it's all just a matter of luck. When I have the grip up this high to help me s flip over when I'm spinning, getting the right spin at the right angle is just a matter of luck. I'm gonna take a look at that replay again real quick to see who was spinning first. I wanna say it was Biffle. Yeah. All right, so it's Biffle and Wimmer basically spinning for the most part. So I'll, that'll be my goal to spin him out. Biffle, 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 where are you? We've got some work to do now. Biffle, Biffle, do. Where are you? I need some help from you now. You know we got to recreate Scott Wimmer's flip from the 2005 Daytona 500. Oh my god, I'll stop. Anyone watching this right now even old enough to remember Scooby-Doo? I mean, like, actually when it was on Cartoon Network on a regular basis? Uh, come on, Biff, we'll come back. No! I messed that up. That was my fault. You all right? I think Scott Wimmer would have had a little bit of a headache after that one. Next. Alright, I need 
to not screw this one up. Oh. I'm chilly. There we go. They should allow the drivers to have blankets in NASCAR. Though I'm not 100% certain, I'm fairly confident that staying warm isn't an issue in those cars that can get up to 180 degrees inside. Or whatever the temperature is. It's 160 degrees inside the car, so dude's like, can I get a blanket? I'm chilly. Biffle, come back here. It's funny driving these cars with the grip so high. And just maneuver the hell out of them and not worry about spinning. So. Oh, damn it. I think I just did that a little too fast. And I didn't even get Biffle around either. That was looking right. That was kind of a similar spin I needed. I just didn't hit the apron right there. Maybe if I just hit it at a slightly better angle, it would have worked better. All right, next. Yeah. Drivers, start your engines. I put my hood on if I'm chilly too. That would make sense. Really hope I'm not getting a cold. Scotty, beam me up. Alrighty. I have a good feeling about this one. I haven't said yet that yet this entire stream. So that might be a good thing. Shit. So if I screw that up. Back here, Gregory. Come back here, you bug eyed dummy. Does anyone remember that? Sterling Marlin? Getting pissed off at him and calling him, calling him a bug-eyed dummy? Damn it. I saw, I saw someone just go into the catch fence. I saw someone go into the fence. Need to look at that replay. think. Did I? Who did I see get airborne? I thought. Thought I saw someone did. Maybe that was what I saw. Yeah, I actually think that's what I saw. Just that nine car hop into the air. Oh, that was anticlimactic. It's like expecting to see a cool catch fence wreck. Just some little glitch of the car jumping into the air. Hey guys, 
listen to NASCAR Lover. That dude's smart. Alrighty, come on, Greg. Biffle. Very tricky trying to get spun at the right angle with the grip turned up to about two. So you can have control over the spin, but still make it look natural, but still have it be high enough to tip the car over when you get backwards on the banking of the apron. It's all just a delicate procedure. All right. Come on, why did no one spin me out? All you guys. No, no, no. Next. God damn it. Drivers, start your engines. I'm having more difficulty with this one than I'd thought. If anyone uh has any suggestions of what settings I need to change to have a better shot, I'm all I'm all ears. Make sure you post your suggestions down in the comments in YouTube. And if you're listening to this right now, please hit the like button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Please and thank you. Messing up the shifts. I'll try to get like more up to the side of him and have him spin out that way so hopefully he can have more of my car broadsided to turn sideways. I'll try to show you what I mean if I can do it the way I just described. Come on, come on. Oh. Does that count? Is that close enough for you guys? Concrete grip. So is the... That's what I was asking earlier, but I wanted some confirmation. Is the track asphalt right here? And then below the bottom line, it's concrete? That's what I believe, but... I need confirmation first from you guys before I go switch the settings again. So while I get confirmation from you guys, I'm going to save that just because it's one of the few where I actually got upside down. I'm going to need a thumbnail for this video on YouTube eventually. Alright, that's what I thought. Alright, so the ass, the ass -er, <laughs> ass. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I am terrible with pronunciations. All right, so he said yes, so I'm gonna go change that then. As I save that, exit. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go to window cap. Let's go back to the 
no, not sounds, Daytona, back into the I and I. So we're going to turn the asphalt down. Let's go like to 1.6 or so. We'll try that. And we're turning this up. Try 2.35. Actually, 2.4. Five. Save. All right, so we'll try that. Where is what I'm looking for? Oh yeah, here. Boom. Yep, we had some frame issues as suspected earlier. I think I'm going to order NASCAR Racing 2003. Do it. One of the best, best things I ever got. I'm playing it almost every day for nearly 10 years. That's how expansive it is. Not every day. There was a gap of a few years where I kind of lost touch. Then I started playing it again. Why am I going down here? Race. All right, let's see if that made a difference. I'm trusting you. Trusting that you were right. feels a lot more natural. Oh yeah. That's a lot more grippy down here. Alright buddy, I think you're right, so hopefully... Alright. I wish I could make a new version. iRacing. iRacing has better graphics, it's better handling, better physics, better online gameplay. But... The thing that this has over at racing. If you want to play some sprint cars at Daytona, you don't need to pay an extra $75 to your monthly subscription already. So that's one up this has on iRacing. But otherwise, there. iRacing is basically an updated version of this. Damn it, except for it's Biffle now. Oh, he's way up at the front. All right, I'll try just to test, but I'm going to restart the qualifying session after this. So that Biffle's somewhere, like, a little bit closer to me. If I'm not mistaken, iRacing was built with the same source code as this game. Oh yeah, definitely felt the grip turn up higher when I got down to the banking. I just needed to get the spin better. Actually, I'm going to exit out once more. Not even... I'm just turning the asphalt grip from 1.6 to 1.7 just to give me a little better handling. Alright, now I'm loading the game back up. I think we'd play online together once get NASCAR Racing 2003. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do some tutorials, though. I almost never have raced online, ever, let alone since I got a wheel. So I'm going to need to figure out how to f do all that stuff, find the server numbers and everything. All right, where's Greg Biffle? Greg Biffle's right in the... He's about the front third of the pack. Is he in the inside line? Oh, he's in the outside line. God damn it. Alright, I need him to qualify anywhere from like... 10th or 15th to 25th. But an odd number. That's what I need for Greg Biffle. Because I wanted to be in the inside line. Alright, 
let's see where he qualified. Where's Biffle? God damn it. Outside line and towards the back. Exact same. 26. God damn it. Sorry, guys. Need Biffle to be back in a similar spot. Where is he now? To your cars. Why am I having such difficulty with him now? Of course, when I want him to qualify in a certain spot, he won't. 19th. There we go. He's in, like, the front half, and he's in the inside line. Does it work with Windows 8? I believe so. I'm not even sure what version of Windows I have. I just know CCM won't work with Windows 10, so that's purposefully why I haven't updated Windows 10, even though it's free. forgot that I don't have a full field, so he's just slightly, he's in the front part of the second half of the field. But still, there's enough cars behind to where it'll look like a full pack. There's 20 cars in front of us, give or take. Alright, so we're going to try this for the first time. Spinning Biffle with the asphalt grip at 1.7, and then the concrete grip below the apron at 2.5. Four or five. Let's see if that what that does. Everything else is default. As far as the track I and I goes. Track I and I. It's weird to say fast. As I turn the asphalt grip up just a little bit, uh, as opposed to spinning all the way around and going back up the track, I can kind of have the momentum to go back down the track with the grip being up a little bit. Alright, so... God damn it. Well, I flipped. Did flip. Drivers, start your engines. Start your engines. The stream's been going on for a while. How long have we been doing this anyway? Oh man, we're at fifty minutes. Five zero. I need to get going if I don't want to have a part two. pausing just to unfreeze the comments. I'm not sure if I did that after the last time I switched out of the game window. Every time I switch out of the game window, before I go back into it, I need to go into the the chat log window to unfreeze that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I missed that. Shift up. Back here, G Biff. So I'm gonna start calling all NASCAR drivers from now on just their first letter, their first name, and then first syllable of their last name. G Biff, S Wim, J Gord. Oh, damn. And 
Biffle's upside down. He stole my flip. He stole my thunder. I guess you could say he stole my NASCAR thunder. Except that's not the g same game. Still, it's a NASCAR game reference within a NASCAR game. Alright, next. I was kind of hoping on that spin when he hooked me, and then I came back around. I was hoping not to spin so quickly and then just go back up the track. I was hoping the momentum would carry me down towards the bottom a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing this one's going to need a part two, because the stream's nearing the end, and I'm still just barely starting to get the hang of what I need to do. Back. Uh, juice hiccups. Whoa, 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 slow down. It's K Shray. Biff. Come on, you bug-eyed dummy. Let's get this business done. Wall trips near where a wreck is going to be. What else is new? Oh, I need to turn my. How do I get that spin? Because I would spun the right way. I just need to go down the track, as opposed to slide back up into the outside wall. God damn it! Alright guys, as much as I hate to say it, this is probably going to be my third to last attempt. This is already my second hour long stream of the day. I got some errands to run. And I do work later tonight. I'd love to po uh, hear your guys' suggestions of what you think I need to do to have a better shot next time. That is if I don't get it in these next three tries. I need to spin, but at an angle to where I still get down to the bottom of the track and hit the apron, and then hopefully that'll bring my car around. I hit the higher grip on the apron, my car tumbles over backwards from the weight shift momentum. Hopefully. Damn it. Talk about a hard hit for Michael Walter there. Mid road is closed. Damn it, I messed that up. Sure, I'll go the wrong way. Start your engines. Since you asked nicely. God damn it. 
had a decent shot at that one too. I just messed up my spin. This one's not doing so well. This isn't one of the better reenactment attempt streams I've had. As far as getting close attempts goes. This one. We have a decent shot. need to do what reenactment am I doing next I don't know I usually go through my comments of my more recent videos see what people are have posted see what mods I all have in my game folder I see if any of the requests other people have asked for are thumbs up or at all all right last attempt and then I will cause a purposeful backwards big one. Thank you everyone that's still watching at this point. Please hit the like button on YouTube if you're watching this there. If you're watching this on Twitch, please hit the metaphorical like, metaphorical like button. And I'm assuming all you are followers and subscribers. Thank you for your support. If you happen to be watching this on Twitch and aren't following yet, and you like the video, please go ahead and do so. I'd really appreciate it. Same thing to all those that are watching on YouTube. Just might happen to have stumbled upon this video. Although, hope you didn't stumble upon this one, because this wasn't a very good impression of my channel, since I sucked with all these attempts. But, if you happen to like the video and you aren't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. I'd really, really appreciate it. I might have to do a part, or a fourth attempt, as I screwed up that shift. Or do I got it? Or do I got it? Oh, I got it. I got it. Alright, one last attempt to try for this one. God damn it. Well, that one didn't go so well. Keep it under 35. Keep it under 3500 in You all right? We got trouble. Entering the trial. Thank you Productions. I'm just going to call you that cuz I don't know how to pronounce A S E R. As Yeah, this that's how stupid I am. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if it's Asir, Asir, Asir. So I'm just going to go with Productions. Thank you for subscribing or following whichever you did. All right, I need to Take out my frustration, pumping all these up to the max number. 100. Alright, one last big one. Thank you again for watching, everyone. I will be back tomorrow with two more streams. A race in the early afternoon and a can I recreate in the late afternoon slash evening. I really appreciate it if you watch both of those or just either one, whichever you prefer. If you're more into races, I do that. If you're more into the crashes, I do that too. Got a little something for everybody at this channel. 
I'm going to do what I usually do. I'm going to go up to the trial bowl on the pace lap and then wait for them to come back around the full lap and then fly out of the pits the wrong way as they're coming into the trial bowl. Try to take them out then. A receipt down there. I kept hearing something fluttering or like tapping during this entire stream. I was wondering what that was. My fan it was a little receipt from my grocery store earlier. Just ever so slightly moving it. I was wondering what the hell that was. Zero gravity. Oh no. You just showed up. I'm literally leaving in like a minute, but you. You're here for the best part. The giant rock I'm causing at the ending. And I'm uploading this to YouTube so you can check it out there. At least you made it for the end. Alright, I'll gun it in like five seconds. Get everyone. Oh, I think I missed a few. I think I missed like, yeah, there's a few cars that escaped on the inside, but not too many. Not too many escaped. Well, you don't have school now, so you can watch the parts you want on YouTube. Oh, Jimmy Johnson escaped that bastard. <laughs> Looks like he was the only one really unscathed. Jesus. Yeah, basically the only one that went through unscathed that didn't have to slow way down and go through the grass. One more time. Boom. Jesus, talk about a big wreck. Alright, that is it for the stream today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitch. Check out my Facebook page, that's right, I meant to say that. There's nothing too exciting on Facebook yet, but I'm slowly building it up, building a following so I can interact with you guys there. And that is it. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, I will see you then. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace. Bye.